Hello, Purple Rosa here and in this housing ideas and tips video I'm going to show you how you can make your own couches or sofas just to make your houses look more cosy looking and gives you a place to sit except for these couches here because I made these from beds you can't really interact with them and sit on them but they will still make your house look nice and cozy so first off I'll show you these couches that I made and they are made out of beds so first up we have this one here which is made from the I think it's the Nord bed I've used two of those so I'll just take this apart and show you how I did it and it is the same for those other two over there which is made from the dark elf bed single this one here and this one here I used the Elsewhere Bed Quilted Single. So we'll do the Nord Bed. So all you do to make these is place the bed down like that. And then the back one depends on how high you want it. But yeah, we'll go for like that height. And I just have to shimmy it around so it looks more like a couch. And yeah, you can have it leaning back as much as you want or have it forward a bit more. And yeah, for the back here, you just move it forward as much as you want, but I usually aim to have it kind of matched up so like that and it works perfectly as a couch that you could sit on well it would <laughs> and it's that simple same with these two here so we've got the dark elf bed so you just place the bed down and then with the back one you just match it up a bit I tried to match those up but I just put this together quickly just to show you and yeah could work as a couch as well and with the back here to make it look more perfect you just light it up like that and same with this Elsewhere bed that I used. The Elsewhere bed quilted single. So yeah, place it down. And then angle the back one like I did there. And I know the pillow there is kind of sunk in. But it doesn't look too cut off. It just looks like. It's a pillow that is sitting there and yeah with the quilted single bed here it only has the wood backboard there but it doesn't really matter on this side because it could be like a couch where you could come up here and cozy up in this corner and read a book or even in this corner and yeah that's just a simple couches you could use and put in your house you could probably use any of the beds but I will mention that some of them like here the Breton single bed you could probably use but the top bit there is higher than that bit there but you could make it work like I did with 
this one here as it has no wood bit there. And same with this Dark Elf one. You've got the bigger headboard there and the smaller end there. But I kind of made that work and you could do the same with some of these other beds. Maybe not the Eleanor bed because it has pointy bits. <laughs> if you play around with it you can use other beds. You could try using these other elsewhere ones but the headboard's a bit high and might not work for a couch you want to make. But yeah, there's some high elf beds, but they're a bit pointy there. There's the Lalu beds, but I'm not sure how they'd work for a couch. Could try the Khajiit style. And yeah, just find whatever works for you and you can make some big couches like this for your living rooms. Or just wherever in your houses. I'll talk about these ones here. So for these I used the tufted faded red and made like a corner type couch. And as you can see these are still interactable so you can sit on it. And I'll mention that these tufted because they're like a cushion on a wood stool or whatever you call that. So you will have the legs of it sticking out the back here with the cushions on the top. I didn't align this properly but you could make it look more perfect yourself. But yeah, these with the legs sticking out of those it doesn't look too bad. Because it actually could be the design of the corner chair that I put together here. So yeah, for this one you just get some tufted. So I'm not sure if I have any extra ones. I'll just see. No, I don't. So I'll just take some of these back and just show you what I did, which is pretty easy. So the tufted faded red, you just place them down. You can even match them up more like that. But I kind of like the starry design going in between each. And as you can see with the green around it, you can still interact with them and sit on them. Most of these except that corner one, but it's no big deal there. And yeah, they're still interactable and you can still sit on them. And yeah, for the back piece of these couches, you just angle like that. This won't be perfect, but it's just a rough idea to show you. And yeah, you've got your corner couch or however you want to do it. You can just have the single couch like that if you choose to or have it smaller than that or have one here, have another one over here, however you want to set up your area. And yeah, those tuftets you can just use however you want. And over here I have some of the blue tuffet. So yeah, this one I styled to be more like the chairs that you put around a pool. 
And yeah, you just like lie back on them and relax. So I used three of the Tuffet Faded Blue. And like this one here, they're the same. They're just, there's the blue and there's the red one. So I'll grab some of these red ones and it's pretty simple on how you can do this type of sofa. So you just have two down like that and then you get a back one and for this one you angle it back a bit more so you can use it to lie back and with this design the legs sticking out on it kind of work because these type of chairs in real life you can move the back bit here up and down so if you want to lie all the way back or if you want to angle this up more you can which works for these types of chairs so yeah those ones are simple to make and these two here, they're not really sofas or couches, they're more wood type benches. This one here I used in my Nord Christmas house. And all it is, is two of the Nord benches and the other one I use the Argonian bench woven here. But yeah, with the Nord ones, I'll just unlink those. You just place it down like that and then angle the back bit so it'll fit on top like that. Uh, because with these benches, you sit the back bit right on and with the legs, they stick in a bit to the bottom here. You can't actually interact and sit on these chairs, but you could use these wood ones in a garden or something. And yeah, this Argonian one, I kind of like it. It's like a nice designed chair you might sit on a wooden type chair and same idea with that one I placed the bottom one down and then angled the top one to be the back there it's that simple these are the best two that I found that work if you want to do it like this because other benches have too many bits sticking out like with the Eleanor bench you got the middle bit there which wouldn't work same with the Breton it's got like that bit down there I'll show you what I mean so if you wanted to place the bottom down that's fine but for the back bit it would look weird having that indent there but if you want you could make it work because there are smaller uh, type cushions that you could use to fit in the back and make a proper looking comfy chair just do whatever works for you in that guard. So yeah, onto these sofas. With this one, I actually did the exact same design in my Hagrid's hut. It does take quite a few cushions to put together because with these cushions being not as wide as you want them to be and you want this sofa to look realistic so you have to double up on them 
to actually make it seem like it's a sofa. A real sofa that you would actually sit in comfortably. So for this type of sofa, I used quite a few of these dark elf pillow bodies. So I'll just take it all back and give you a rough idea of how I put it together. So you just place two on the bottom where you'd sit. You place, I think I used two more on the side here, so you want your arm rests where you'd sit and rest your arms. It's a bit high, so I'll lower this one a bit more. So yeah, that's probably better, but yeah. If you play around with it more, you'll make it look perfect yourself. So then you want the legs so the chair will actually seem functional. So yeah, you want to move it like that and then this one more like that but yeah this won't be perfect and I'll have to link all these up to lower it to the floor better and then you want the back pieces where you'd actually lean back and rest so depending on how high you want it just work and play around with it that way so it's looking all right and then for the back, to make it look more realistic, just add two there just to give it some depth that it might actually be a sofa stuffed with whatever they stuff them with. So yeah, because these back ones are a bit back too far just to match it up more you can move it forward like that and yeah it's not perfect but I'll just lower it onto the floor a bit more and yeah it'll actually be a sofa that you could sit on and for the front here, I did have another one there. But yeah, that's, that's not perfect, but you can angle it just to be as like some padding, kind of like that. And yeah, it might actually be a comfy sofa that you would sit on in your home. So this one over here I used the Khajiit cushions long and how I did this one I'll just replicate it to the side here. So I had it about that high so you just have the bit there where you'd sit for the armrests, I angled the side one a bit like that. But yeah, if you play around with this yourself, as I said, you'll make it look perfect. So yeah, that's just the armrest there. And it's just a simple way of getting the back bit. like that and then to give it some more depth down the bottom here you just add 
the back bit there so it looks like it's an actual seat you'd sit on and with this one I didn't add the front bit there but if you want to you could close it in like that and yeah just a simple couch you'd sit on that would be nice and comfy so because I made these ones smaller, like I did with this corner couch here, you could even expand it, make it bigger, or use the smaller cushions. Because there is a smaller Khajiit cushion that you could use. This one. And yeah, just make it work for you. And there's plenty of other cushions that you could use. So I grabbed some of these throw, Red Guard Throw Pillow Oasis. And I did play around with them before, but I dismantled it to show you just how you could quickly use these to make a comfy looking sofa like I did with that one there. So you want to make those a bit higher so it works as a chair. This won't be perfect but you'll get the idea. And yeah just close it in like that and have the back closed in like that and just raise that one up a bit and I know it's not perfect but you got a comfy sofa that you could sit there and because these cushions have so many possibilities you can even make it bigger have it a two-seater or a three-seater whatever works for you I'll just keep it as a two-seater because I didn't get that many of these cushions so yeah if you want a two-seater sofa you just can do it like that it's not perfect but if you spend some time on it, you can align them way better than I did. And yeah, you just add another one down there to close in the back. And you got yourself a comfy sofa that way. So yeah, all these designs are simple and easy to make and as I said before, there's plenty of cushions you can use to make a sofa or a couch. These ones might work. I know they're smaller. This one is a bit bigger and would work easily to probably make something like that or even like this because they're a bit thinner like the Khajiit ones here and yeah plenty of cushions that you could use to make a comfy looking couch or sofa for your bedrooms or living rooms so they're just some simple ideas you can use and employ in your own homes get creative and mix and match these however you want so i'll see you around thanks for watching